Bitcoin has broken out above the consolidation. Yesterday on Twitter, I was discussing Bitcoin's bullish pennant and that we were ready for a breakout. And this has now played out. Bitcoin is now testing at a new high. We have broken above the October 21st high testing prices right next to 70,000 as I'm making this video. These are the highest prices since July. Right now, Bitcoin is nearly touching the highest prices since June. And also Bitcoin is now less than 6% away from a new all-time high. Needless to say, the bulls are in control of this market. The bulls have been in control since the beginning of 2023. We've just been climbing, stair-stepping our way up. And here we are moving into election season here in the United States. And this has always been the point of an all-time high break. All of this and more in today's video. What is up guys? My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're going to be discussing Bitcoin and touching on the altcoins as well. In the past few videos, we were discussing that a short squeeze was incoming. I showed you guys my new indicator, talked about the Bitcoin breakout target and that all time highs were coming soon, all of which seems to be playing out. And also Bitcoin has maintained the parabolic trajectory. You can just plot a curved line. It fits like a glove. Yes, that's right. Bitcoin is still going parabolic in the macro scale. This is a huge parabola on our hands that began in 2023. And this is something we've discussed for over a year now, guys, on this channel. So this is very exciting to see. Now, bringing up the textbook parabolic trend diagram and looking at Bitcoin's weekly chart on the right, in theory, we are at base three. And if you look at the range that we've been in, this choppy zone since March, the middle of that range is about 62,000. And from 62,000, if the price were to double, according to the textbook, that lands Bitcoin at somewhere around 124,000. Now we do have base four ahead of us, so it's not gonna be a straight line up. We're gonna have a lot of chop. We're gonna have pumps, some sideways chop, and then continuation runs. And this is what I posted on Twitter to give you guys a better idea of what I'm looking for. Now, remember, this is not my opinion. This is what the textbook is saying. So some people will comment below. You know, today, of course, everyone's going to be really bullish today because we're breaking out. And they're going to say, Kev, 124,000, that's too bearish. Why don't you think we're going to go to 200 or 300? It's not what I think. It's what the textbook is telling me. At least for this run, who knows how the cycle will play out. But the target is 124,000 for the weekly parabola. Despite what happens after that price, I don't know. But it will take quite a long time to get up there. According to this model that I created, the Bitcoin halving cycle profit model, about 80 weeks after the halving is when the cycle ends. Every bear market has begun right around the 80th week after the halving. And once again, every single all-time high break for Bitcoin took place during or after the US presidential election. All of them, right? First having breaking out after the inauguration of Barack Obama. Second having breaking out after the inauguration of Donald Trump. Third having we broke the all-time high before the inauguration during the election. And right now it's looking like we're gonna break the all-time high before the inauguration and during the election. Something more similar to last cycle. It was one month after the election, we began trending into the new all-time high. So anywhere from one to five months. So right now we're coming up on the first month, pretty much exactly when Bitcoin normally would break the all-time high, which is in between now and the end of the year, more or less, if you take the average. Anywhere between November and the end of the year, is when Bitcoin breaks the all-time high. If I had to take a guess, I would say probably next month, November, but I'm very certain that we will break it before the end of the year. But it wouldn't surprise me for Bitcoin to break out very, very, very soon. You can just take any one of these weekly candles on these run-ups and just plot it where we are now. And if any one of those types of candles showed up, we'd be well above the all-time high. So if Bitcoin broke the all-time high by the end of this week, I also wouldn't be surprised. The time is now. This is when Bitcoin usually does it. Switching over to the altcoin market cap, the total three. This is also when the altcoins usually make their run to the lower high breakout. At least in the last cycle, you can see right when the election happened in 2020, we broke our consolidation and it took about 10 weeks or so, nine weeks and we were breaking above our lower high. So the altcoins are always behind Bitcoin by a little bit, and the altcoins are always waiting for Bitcoin to break its all-time high before they go to the moon. People always ask me, Kev, when is alt season? When can we expect it? And the answer that I give almost every day is once Bitcoin begins trending above the all-time high, 
that's when alt season takes place because that's when speculator confidence is at its highest. So once Bitcoin clears the all time high, speculators become confident to speculate on high risk assets. And that's when alt season takes place. And within a couple months, more or less, you go from consolidation to break of lower high into the alt season and checking it to the right side, the consolidation that we are in over here, same type of signal, also same event to the election coming up right as we're breaking the consolidation, same setup. In theory, the altcoins would be breaking above their lower high by the end of November. So a pretty bullish month ahead for the alts in theory. Going into December, we should be breaking that lower high and really kicking off this alt season with a higher high on the total three. End of November, going into December, probably a really good Christmas for the altcoins. That's what it's looking like right now. And looking at Bitcoin's chart against the total three, Bitcoin is on the top. In the last cycle, the altcoin season started after Bitcoin broke its all-time high. If you look from the 20,000 top zone right here, when we broke the all-time high, the altcoins, if you draw a line straight down, were basically starting to exit that consolidation and coming up towards their lower high zone. So they were well below the all-time high. Bitcoin is now near the all-time high, it's getting close, but Bitcoin needs to start breaking the all-time high and closing weeklies above the all-time high. Consecutive higher weekly closes is what really initiates the alt season. So if Bitcoin begins to close weeklies above the all-time high, one after another, higher than the last one, the altcoins will quickly and swiftly begin alt season. So that is what we're waiting for, for the altcoins to really, really start their run. And if we look at the Bitcoin chart, and we also take a look at the altcoin versus Bitcoin heat map indicator, which I released the other week, this is showing that when the total three, the last chart that we were just looking at, the altcoin market cap, when the altcoin market cap matches Bitcoin's market cap that is near the cycle peak. So this is a cycle top zone indicator that you can use. Altcoin versus Bitcoin heat map, free to use on trading view when the altcoin market cap gets close to a one-to-one -one ratio matching bitcoin you're getting near that top you're getting really toppy at that point right because when the altcoins are worth the same as bitcoin it's a good indicator that well things are overpriced over exuberance overvalued right because bitcoin is the most valuable asset in the space so that is what we're looking for now and you can see that currently the altcoins are actually losing dominance because Bitcoin dominance tends to go up into the all-time high. And then once Bitcoin starts to trend above the all-time high, then Bitcoin dominance reverses. So right now we're way, way down. We're in the cool down zone for the altcoin Bitcoin heat map. We're still, I mean, we're nowhere close to the end of the cycle according to what has happened in, in the past. The total three has so much room to move up before we're anywhere near the end of the cycle, which means we're gonna get much higher prices from here and the altcoins have not even started. So there's so much opportunity in this market right now, guys. And I also just wanna once again, repeat myself here because people tend to forget after five minutes of me telling them the altcoin season begins once Bitcoin begins trending above the all-time high. Bitcoin dominance goes down once once Bitcoin starts trending above the all-time high, because once Bitcoin starts trending above the all-time high, then speculator confidence is at its highest, which means the altcoins start to get volume. After Bitcoin breaks 20,000, drop a vertical line on that weekly when we broke out, that's when the altcoins hit their low in, co in the comparison between Bitcoin and the altcoins. They hit their low right when Bitcoin breaks the all-time high and then very quickly start to trend up. So Bitcoin dominance is likely going to continue to rise until we start closing a week or two weeks into the all-time high. Then you'll see the total three, the altcoins very quickly gain dominance. And once they reach a one-to-one, -one, you're near the cycle peak. You're at least near it. So keep that in mind. This is a good top signal indicator. Altcoin versus Bitcoin heat map, free to use on TradingView. It's October 28th. The election is November 5th. So we are right on the edge of something big for this market. As I'm recording this video, Bitcoin only needs to go up about five, six percent, and it's at the all time high. And I just realized that the Patreon is sold out. I'm gonna open up slots once I finish recording this video. Um, remember, once we break the all time high, these prices will not be available. The prices will go up, but you can lock in these prices today for a lifetime. As long as you stay in the Patreon, you'll keep these prices for as long as you'd like. In the Patreon, we are doing morning voice chats at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, U.S. time. You guys can hop in, ask me questions directly. You can get a daily analysis from me every weekday morning, one hour after the U.S. stock market opens. 
We talk about charts, trends, trades, altcoins, all that kind of stuff. If you're interested, get in today, get in now before the prices go up. We are only five or 6% away from this price being raised. So lock this in today and I'll see you all in the next one.